The music you just heard was a fanfare, and I played a fanfare because I'm about to make an incredibly exciting and huge announcement about a brand new writing competition for children, which I think you should all enter because you'll all be brilliant at it. It's called 500 Words Black Lives Matter. I feel sure that you've already heard of the 500 Words Writing Competition, which is the biggest children's writing competition in the world. It's been going for 10 years, and in that time, we've seen, I think, a million entries. Because this is such an important moment in history, Chris Evans, who runs the competition, decided to have an extra one this year, an extra 500 words this year, which is called 500 Words Black Lives Matter. All you have to do to enter is to write a story in 500 words with a beginning, a middle and an end and submit it to the 500words.me website and it has to be on the theme of Black Lives Matter. Now you might be thinking, that is a very big theme to write about in so few words. But actually, I've been a judge on 500 words for about 10 years and I'm going to be judging this one too. And I can tell you that over the years, me and along with all the other judges, we've all been astonished by what huge things children are able to tackle in such a small space. We've seen stories about global warming, about war, about justice, about bullying, about identity. Children are generally very brave and able to take on these huge themes. Black Lives Matter is about, is in the end, about building a better world. And it's you, children, who will have to build that better world. And you, children, who have to, living in it, have to live in it once it is built. So we would like to hear what you think about this theme. And we would like you to put that in a story. Because stories are the most powerful way of thinking about things. So this is a huge competition. It's going to be a huge prize. Very, very exciting. When the winners are announced, it'll be on Chris's radio show. It'll be huge. So, and you've not got very much time because you have to submit your stories by Friday. So, I am going to very quickly give you my top five or six tips for writing 500 word stories, which I have got from judging the competition for 10 years. And this is what I have learned. Tip number one. Are you ready? Are you listening? Tip number one. I actually think you probably know what I'm going to say. Tip number one is get going. Don't wait, don't draw diagrams, don't plan too much. Jump in, get started. And you know why I think this? Because I have discovered that the very best ideas, your brilliantest, your funniest, your saddest ideas come when you are actually writing. Not when you're thinking about it, when you're doing it. Just like football, just like cooking, just like drawing. The really great ideas come when you get going. So get going right away, start writing 500 words. My second tip, this is tip number two, is when you have finished your story, please, please, please find someone that you love and trust and read it out loud to them. Nothing tells you more clearly which bits of your story work and which bits don't than reading it out loud. If you read it out loud, you will hear the bits where it's not quite as funny as it could be. You'll be able to tell when it's not quite as exciting or when you're not really making your point, and whoever you're reading it to will tell you that as well. I know this because every year when we judge the 500 words competition, when we get through to the last stories, we always, always end up reading them to each other. And when we read them to each other, when I hear Mallory Blackman or Charlie Higson or the Duchess of Cornwall reading me a story, I always find something different in the story. So find that different thing before you send it in. Tip number three. This is a very simple little one, but people forget it a lot. A story doesn't have to be just once upon a time, this, then this, then this, then this. You can tell stories through lots of different, there are lots of different ways to tell a story. You could tell a story through a series of text messages or letters or Facebook messages or a series of newspaper articles or advertisements or jokes. Play around with the form. It doesn't have to be just straightforward, if, if, if that helps. Don't, you don't have to do that. It's just a way of playing around with the story. That was number three. Number four. This is the most important tip, I think. The judges are looking for something original and 
fresh and different. And you have in your house with you right now something not only original, fresh and different, you have something with you that's unique. You have something with you that is unique in the whole universe. And that thing is you. There is no one or a nothing like you in the entire universe. So the more of you that you put into this story, the fresher, the more original, the more exciting and the funnier the story will be. So look into your heart and think about what you really think. Put what you love into the story, put what you really fear into the story. If you're looking for somewhere to set the story, set it somewhere that you think is the best place in the world or the worst place in the world. If you're looking for a fright in the story, think about the thing that frightens you the most. If you're looking for something funny in your story, think of the thing that you think is funniest. And that brings me to the last one, which is about our theme. It has to be on the theme of Black Lives Matter. But find out how you, that special, unique person, connects with that theme. Dig into history, if you like. Look up things from history, things that appeal to you, or talk to your friends, or look into the newspapers, or look into your own experience and write about that. Find your own connection with the theme of Black Lives Matter. And it may be that you burn to see a better world, which would be a great way to write about it. Or it may be something that in that theme that has already hurt you or hurt someone that you love. Or it may be something that's always fascinated you from history. But find something in the theme that really speaks to you so that you can speak to us. So, get going, because you don't have a lot of time. This is a very special one-off competition and the closing date is Friday, and I imagine there are going to be hundreds of thousands of entries. But if you've been following these lessons, you should be very good at writing by now. And I've read lots of your stories, and you're all brilliant. And it would be amazing if, when I next heard your story, it was in the final. So, obviously because of that amazing announcement, there's going to be some changes this week. Normally, I set you a writing mission on a Monday. I do a live lesson on a Wednesday and then I read your stories on Friday. But this week I mustn't read your stories. Please, please, please don't send me your stories because if you do and I read your story and you're trying to enter it in the competition, you'll be disqualified because I'm one of the judges. So please, 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 please remember, don't send me your stories. And if I do a live lesson on Wednesday, please don't tell me what your story is going to be about because if I recognise your story, I, won't be, I, I will have to disqualify it. And I really don't want to do that because there are some people who've been following these lessons who I know are really brilliant writers. And quite a lot of you, actually. So please enter the competition. You can enter from today. You have to enter by Friday. What are you waiting for? Just get cracking. Bye. Good writing.